Okay, good evening everybody and welcome back to beautiful Jogjakarta. Today I'm leaving the city and I'm heading on an overnight train to Malang. I've heard some incredible things about this area of Indonesia and I can't wait to explore. I booked executive class, which I haven't tried yet before here in Indonesia. I've tried the economy, the business and now executive. It's one of the higher classes, so hopefully it'll be very comfortable. It's about six hours, um, six and a half hours to Malang. It's currently 11.30 p.m. My train leaves at 12.30 p.m. so I have an hour to hopefully inshallah grab some food I have to get my ticket sorted because I booked online so you have to get it printed out while you're here and you can get the train to Malang, I can't wait everybody it's 6 40 in the morning and i've just arrived here in malang i'm so happy to be here the views coming here were incredible let's head into the city to my hostel Good morning everybody, Salama Pagi from my second day here in Malang. Today is a very exciting day because I've rented a motorbike for two days and I'm going to be heading on an incredible road trip to some of the most famous waterfalls here in this part of Indonesia and also to Mount Bromo tomorrow morning. So I've rented a scooter, should just be up this road. Let's begin this incredible journey. Yes. Ow, kendo, kendo. You guys, this road is stunning. It's more of a local back road towards the waterfall, but it is beautiful, covered in farms. There's a huge river just to my left. It is stunning. Guys, I just had to pull over. I'm still about 30 minutes away, but this view has just taken my breath away. You have all of the rice fields, and then you have Mount Sumera here in the back, which is towards my destination. It's a huge active volcano here in the region. And I'm just heading to Boroma, which is around this region too. So, wow, what a stunning landscape. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. And I can't believe I'm here. This is incredible. Salam abagi. Uh, one? Uh, ticket. Yes. Uh, 20, okay, I just arrived inside. The ticket was 20,000 rupees to enter, which is actually not so bad. That's about uh, one pound, about $1.30. I think it's a little bit of a short walk to see the waterfalls and I can't wait. I've heard it's one of the most spectacular waterfalls, not only in Indonesia, but in the whole world. So let's go. Salam <laughs> pagi. Okay, I just arrived at one of the viewpoints. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Take a look at this. Seru waterfalls loosely translated in Javanese to a thousand waterfalls. The Glizik River runs past uh, huge volcanoes behind me and they all meet for these waterfalls. They are just spectacular. 
I've seen images like this all over Instagram and honestly I thought they were photoshopped because usually you can see Mount Semeru in the background but it's just got a little bit too cloudy. I got here a little bit too late, probably about one hour too late. Good. This is stunning and well worth the drive coming here. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. So Mount Semeru is one of the most active volcanoes here in Indonesia, if not the most active. So as you leave the waterfalls there's an evacuation route. It started raining really hard and I don't have any waterproof so... Ah! It couldn't have just waited for one hour, could it? At the end of last year there was a huge pyroclastic flow which came from the volcano eruption and I didn't realise I was going to be driving through another thunderstorm. I didn't realise I was going to be driving through one of the villages that it was affected by. You can see the ash, it's so high and this is what's left of the houses here. I'm now thinking that's that might be why the bridge I just drove over was destroyed. I guess it's from the, the eruption that happened, I think, six months ago. Okay, I'm about 10 minutes away from my home state. It should just be up here. The volcano behind me, that is Mount Sumero, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But it really smells of sulfur. I've been wearing my mask the whole time anyway. But you really need it here. Oof. It smells really bad. And by the look of it, there's been a pyroclastic flow, which has come down. And I think this is why there's so much sand here. I've been driving in the sand for about 30 minutes. The sun is almost set. I need to hurry up. And I'm really happy I left at the time I left um, because it's taken me a long time to get here, especially with the rain. Uh, but so far, it's been amazing and this landscape is worth it. So I will check in at the guest house. There are eruptions happening right now as I speak. This is crazy. Okay, this is the guest house I'm staying in. I'm staying in, pla in a place called Bromo Otics, I think the name is. It's about £10 for this room, which is pretty nice, pretty good, uh, very basic. Of course, we're in a mountain resort. We're in the middle of East Java at a volcano, so I can't expect too much. And honestly, I don't need too much. I'm so tired. It's been a crazy day, an amazing day. I need to wake up at three to start hiking at four, I think, because sunrise is 5.30. So I'm gonna get a good rest and I'll see you tomorrow morning for sunrise at Mount Bromo. Okay, so I've just arrived at Saruni Point where I parked my bike. It's 5,000 to park. I just picked up a coffee and now it's about a 30 minute walk to King Kong Viewpoint. It's about 4.30 now, so I have an hour and 10 minutes until sunrise. So. I left just in good time. I did crash my bike a little bit on the way up. One of the wing mirrors has fallen off, so 
I have to fix that later. The roads coming up here are pretty, are really actually very bad. Probably one of the worst roads I've driven up. So if you're gonna drive up here, just be very careful and drive as carefully as you can. You can't drive slow because it's very, it's pretty much vertical coming up. Um, so you have to have some good speed, um, but it's very windy and very bumpy. The boulders are huge. So I actually recommend you getting a Jeep to come up here and just leaving your bike in the city. Um, before you come up here and just paying the extra charge because now I have to pay for getting the wing mirrors fixed which might be cheap I'm going to find somewhere later I'll figure that out later so let's start hiking and I'll see you at the top all right you guys after about 30 minutes of hiking up the incredible valley I've arrived here at the viewpoint and so has everybody else who came in the Jeeps I was the only person walking up the hill uh, but I definitely preferred that. So much more fulfilling. It's so beautiful. Take a look at this. over the horizon and you can see the volcanoes in the background. Mount Samura is erupting roughly every 10 to 15 minutes so I think I've just got a good time lapse to show you how much is erupting. It's pretty amazing. Everyone's in such good spirits here even though it's so busy. It's not cold, the weather is perfect and I'm very very blessed to be here. It's sublime. So I'm just hiking back down now. What a beautiful sunrise. It was amazing. I loved every second of it. Also, if you're coming to do this hike, which I highly recommend, you don't actually need to buy the entrance ticket. Um, so if you're gonna come and do this hike, don't pay for it because I spent 220,000 this morning when I didn't have to. Um, but it's well worth coming to. I loved it so much. Just pick up some tea or coffee or some snacks from the locals to support them and come and enjoy this epic sunrise as well. One of my favorite things I've actually ever done anywhere in the world. It's amazing. <laughs> 